Hi everybody, welcome to the Oricon Basement Repair Shop. Today we have a uh, Oricon NR41 amplifier on the bench, actually on the washing machine since the bench is too small for it. But uh, this amplifier is used for a studio recording. It's the only rack mount amplifier that we're aware of that uh, Oricon made for studio recording purposes. It's nice in that it's fully metered. We can see all the signals being fed to the uh, Galvo and the film camera. And uh, it's just been recapped, so all the uh, old electrolytic capacitors have been replaced. So just looking at the front panel here, we have our uh, soundtrack exposure meter. This meter is the current going to the uh, lamp. This particular amplifier uh, was unmarked, but uh, by sussing it out, we happen to think it's been set up for a 7 volt lamp. So this measures the uh, lamp current, and uh, the scale is in Oricon's uh, exposure units from 0 to 20, and 20 on this meter corresponds to 250 milliamps. The center meter is the uh, audio galvo, the uh, program audio being fed to the uh, sound recording galvo, and uh, this meter here is for measuring the current going to the uh, noise reduction shutter. So this meter is calibrated in uh, milliamps from 0 to 40. So right now I've got tone going into it, and using my test generator or test uh, metering box over here, this simulates a camera and allows me to meter all the signals being fed to the uh, camera. Uh, we can turn it on and hear some very annoying tone coming in. So right now this amplifier is being fed with about uh, minus 10 dBU into its uh, 500 ohm input balanced uh, XLR connector. And with the range on the volume control, it seems like it's able to accept anything from about plus 4 to minus 30 dBU. So I'll set up for that. When the uh, audio is set to uh, read 100% here, it's feeding about 20 milliamps into the uh, sound recording galvo. So we have uh, the controls are the soundtrack exposure, so we can set the lamp current here to whatever the film speed requires. We have, of course, power controls here. We have our volume or audio level control. We have our the usual tone control that Oricon provides for all their amplifiers. And then we have the uh, noise reduction on off control. And uh, right now, this is set to the on position. It has a spring return for lab test. And then we also have a soundtrack noise reduction control here. So the way this control is set is when we turn our sound down, we see the noise reduction comes up to blank out the soundtrack, and I believe the correct setting is about 30 milliamps. So we can verify that here. Yep. And that's what's actually going to the camera. And as we increase the sound level, going to the, uh, let's listen to it, going to the uh, camera or Galvo, then the noise reduction is reduced correspondingly unblanking the track and allowing the sound to be recorded. And then gradually it goes down to zero. So as you can see, it takes current to actually close the shutter. So let's have a look at the back side of the amplifier. So we've got an AC cord input firmly attached. We've got a, a five pin Amphenol connector for the uh, cable to the camera, and then we've got the usual backwards XLR mail here, which is not current standard, so watch out for that, and uh, this is, I said, is a 500 ohm input. Let's heavy beast. And let's see how it works with some sound. station and you can see with this kind of music there's almost no noise reduction needed.
fully compressed. Well, that's the NR41. Hope you enjoyed it.